It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with chief investment officer, happens to be my father, and the man with the plan, my father, Bob Payne. Well, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. Mick Jagger famously sang, I can't get no satisfaction. How satisfied are you with your retirement plan? What keeps you up at night? Bob and I are going to break down how to give yourself financial peace of mind. We're going to talk about reading the fine print. There's a lot of critical details about any given investment product that aren't exactly advertised on the front of the brochure. We're going to discuss some of the hidden risks you may not be aware of inside certain investment vehicles. And we have this week's financial propaganda. There's a lot out there in the media, news, you've got to avoid to stay on track with your planning. And we have our spotlight segment today with our star financial advisor, Courtney C. Money Dominguez. She's going to break down a real retirement case, a real retirement plan on our spotlight segment. So let's hop to it. Bob, I don't think when Mick Jagger sang the famous lines, I can't get no satisfaction, he was referring to his finances. What do you think? <laughs> well, I can guarantee you that, Ry. Back in 1965, when this song came out, the BBC wouldn't even let it play in the United Kingdom. If you wanted to hear the song, you had to tune into these pirate radio stations, which were boats off the coast that were playing huh. these sexually aggressive songs from the Stones. Go figure. That's uh, <laughs> It was a different time, that's for sure. Very different um, time. So he wasn't talking about finances, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Well, well, let's talk about finances, Bob, and let's talk about some strategies we utilize to help you achieve the best degree of satisfaction in your retirement. And I think one of the most critical has to be, you know, we talk about income being so critical, a diversity of income streams, so you're not relying on market appreciation or you're not relying on one thing in retirement can definitely help with your satisfaction. Well, you know, you always talk about diversification, Rye, and it's uh, when you think about that, you think about bonds and stocks, commodities, real estate, but it's really more the diversification where your income comes from. You know, you don't want to have one source. You know, we're all entitled to Social Security. My generation's taken full advantage. Some of us have pensions, like me, for instance, but you also want to, you know, have a, a diversified stream of income that comes from things other than than Social Security and pension. That would be bonds. That would be dividends that come from stocks. And, and why dividends are important is because of that insidious hidden tax we call inflation. Yeah, that's right. I mean, well, at this stage of the game, you've got a lot of things to worry about, but no pressure, right? You have to worry about inflation going up, which is a big deal, the cost of living, which every 20 years, your purchasing power is basically cut in half. So every million right. dollars you have today is worth a half a million dollars because cost of living is going up. But also, Bob, with longevity, you have things like healthcare costs, right, that are going to be even more exacerbated than it was for, for your parents' generation. And I think that's the type of stuff you really need to plan for. So knowing that you have that, those different income streams coming in, but also, you know, a increasing cash flow income stream, right? If you just have the same yep. amount coming in every year, you're not keeping up with inflation. You know, right. And, and the world changes, right? Everything's different. You know, you had someone in the other day, who's selling a big piece of real estate and they're afraid to reinvest it into real estate because look what happened to strip shopping centers now with Amazon on the scene. Look how many empty storefronts there are when I walk around the office in New York. All of a sudden, you know, real estate's not a no brainer money making opportunity. And, you know, if you don't have a tenant, you're not getting any income. And last I checked, you can't buy lunch, you know, without income. Yeah, no, I love that line. And that's, you know, it's also kind of, it's almost like if you had a farm, you wouldn't want to just plant one crop because if that crop has a bad harvest, you're out of luck. So the idea is you want to have lots of different crops, or in this case, lots of different streams of income. And that's really where diversification can be so, so critical. You know, the other thing, Bob, that you know I find for our, our clients, and I think is really critical when it comes to retirement, is like you like to say, being able to having your portfolio balance to your sleep point every night. And that has to do with how much of your portfolio is fluctuating with the market and is that keeping you up at night, right? You know, having the right amount of market exposure is really critical so that you're not putting yourself at tremendous risk in retirement. Oh, that's so critical. I mean, knowing 
that a portion of your portfolio has, you know, not necessarily a guarantee, but certainty. You know, you need certainty in your portfolio, but you also need to be able to handle the volatility. And I think the big mistake you make when you look at investing is how much income am I getting? It's not about just income. It's about total return. You know, we mentioned it before. Inflation's insidious. You know, 3% inflation is what we've had since 1900. And if you're, you know, spending $50,000 a year, guess what? In 20 years, it's going to cost you, you know, 90000 So your cost of living is always going to go up. You need a portfolio and income sources that are going to be able to meet that, right? So it's you got to take some risk, but you don't want to take so much risk that you're waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning you know, worrying yeah. about what's going to happen when the market opens at 930 every morning. Well, that's a really good point because right now it's a little bit deceiving because the market's been going up and up and up. And I see this all the time. You may have a lot of money in the stock market and think, well, I'm fine. You know, market's going up. What do I have to worry about? But what you forget is markets can be volatile and they can turn on a dime. And that happened back in January, right? The market went straight up and then all of a sudden it plummeted just like that. And you have to think to yourself, do you really want to deal with that stress in retirement? Or is it time to start to protect yourself? And again, it always feels good when the market's going up and things are going in your favor, but you got to be proactive about it. You know, you can't wait for that shoe to drop because when that happens, it's too late. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a plan like this. I need a plan that gives me satisfaction, helps me sleep at night, make sure I'm on track for my goals. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. Simply bring in your statements, bring them into the office. You can print them out on the computer, put them in a folder. We're going to load everything into a personalized portal for you where we can get a bird's eye view of your entire financial picture, get a holistic view, and look at all the critical components. We're going to look at things like fees, what hidden costs do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break down all the fees in your portfolio, how to show you how to reduce cost. We're going to look at diversification. Do you have diversified income streams? Do you have too many eggs in one basket? If the market goes down tomorrow, are you protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Can you optimize the income on your portfolio? What is your income gap? What income do you need to replace in retirement? Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio for retirement, then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money, or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved over 200,000 for your retirement. Our team at Payne Capital Management will run for you your own 360 financial portal with no obligation, no cost. But of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist at Payne Capital Management. And the Federal Reserve on Wednesday raised interest rates in a widely expected move and indicated it would do so again in its December meeting, as well as three more times next year. Now, in response, the 10-year Treasury bond yield climbed to 3.12%. That's a 52-week high, and mortgage rates are now close to 5%. That's still a very attractive rate on mortgages when you compare it to the 21% mortgage rate that I paid for my first home way back in the early 80s. Now, the Fed also raised its gross domestic product growth forecast for 2018 and 2019. Meanwhile, the Commerce Department said that the second quarter GDP rose at a 4.2% annualized rate. Now, that's unchanged from the earlier estimate. In addition, jobless claims remain near multi-decade lows and orders for durable goods rose 4.5%. Now, that's faster than what's expected. 
So on the economy, all good news. Now on Thursday, trading volume on the exchange actually dropped as investors took a day off from trading to watch the testimony of Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh and Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Now the hearing, of course, has no direct relevance to the economy, although some pundits believe that the outcome could influence the turnout in the upcoming midterm elections. As for the markets, well, oil and especially natural gas prices rose on the week. The dollar moved higher and most stocks and bonds were unchanged on the week, but they finished strong for the month and closed out the third quarter with solid gains. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio appropriate to my risk tolerance? Do I have a portfolio that will help me to achieve my goals and my dreams net of inflation and taxation? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? Simply give us a text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Feeling beaten down by complex numbers and fees? I must break you. Work out those financial muscles with the team at Payne Capital Management. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we're simple men. That's why we like to keep it simple for you. Just give you some common sense advice you can use with your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income. You cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555 555- 888. It's just a great baseline to get the financial planning process started. What you need to know about creating an income, you cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, you once said when a brokerage firm came out with its newest investment product, always go to the last page of that brochure and look for the fine print and look for what one risk that could happen that could blow this product up, and eventually that risk would happen and the product would blow up. <laughs> invariably, right? Invariably. And you also once said, the shinier the brochure, the quicker you should run away from that investment product. Right. It's like the patent office at the turn of the century. You know, they right? wanted to close it because everything that was important had already been invented in their mind. Well, in my mind, every investment you need is already out there publicly traded. So when they come up with something new, Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> well, let's talk about some of that fine print that we might not be aware of when we're pitched or sold an investment product that we should think about. And I think a big one is, I hate to pick on annuities, but a lot of times they get pitched like there's no fees and all these guarantees. But then when you start to uh, you know peel back that thin veneer on top, there can be a lot of fees inside and a lot of hidden things you didn't know about. Yeah, it doesn't take long to peel that onion, Ryan. I mean, and in some cases, their annuities are a necessary investment product, and sometimes they're court ordered. But let's face it: when it comes to anything related to insurance, none of these things are ever purchased on the part of the investor. Annuities are sold, and they're sold to you by high-pressure salespeople who get paid really well, you know, to sell that product. You know, for example, why is it, Rye, that you can't take money out of an annuity the day after you buy it? Because there's a lot of fees and back-end charges that are associated with that annuity to do so. And also because typically, Bob, and I don't want to be cynical, the salesperson who sold that annuity probably got paid very handsomely up front to sell you that annuity. Now, basically, they don't have the money to give it to you right away back into your pocket. Yeah. So how do you find out about these fees, right? If, if every time you call the office, you get a sales pitch from the same person. Who do you call? The best way to do it is always to call the insurance company directly without the salesperson. Um, we have advisors that can even get on the phone with you if you need that, just to ask the right questions. And then a lot of times, I mean, we do these calls all the time when someone was sold an annuity. And a lot of times you can almost hear the jaw dropping on the other line as the insurance company breaks down all the fees the client didn't know they were paying for. It can get pretty ugly pretty quickly, Bob. Well, that's why I keep those smelling salts in my office, Rye, when I put people on the phone <laughs> with the insurance company and they find out that it wasn't exactly what they thought they owned. I've seen a lot of people go pale and almost faint. And the other part of it, too, is they always throw around these guarantees, like you're going to get a guaranteed 5%, 6%. That's not true. It's not a real 5 6%. 
It's the calculation they use on the phantom value to calculate your payout value. Now, if you fact understood anything I just said, <laughs> you're lucky. It's just the point is there's these very complex calculations, and what they're telling you is a very simple guarantee really isn't, and you have to investigate further because the old saying, Bob, on Wall Street is if it sounds good to be true, it probably is, and annuities a lot of times can fall under that category. Yeah, and you know what, Ry, basically, if you have um, an annuity product, uh, you know, it's a contract, there's generally a lot less expensive ways to invest your money to achieve the same goals with more liquidity and historically significantly better return. So, you know, that's it's something you should investigate if you're considering that uh, type of investment and, and something that if you own, you should really have it verified and checked out. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The, the other place to say it too is, you know, I hear this a lot, Bob, this mutual fund that I had was pitched to me because it did really well for the last 10 years. Then I bought it and all of a sudden it tanked. And I thought I was getting into this sure thing type of investment. Well, I think the problem there, Rye, is people chase performance. So it could be a stock. A lot of people bought Facebook 30% higher than it is today. They do the same thing with mutual funds or even exchange traded funds or any investment. You know, people like to buy high, it makes them feel good. You know, it's like, oh, it must be a good investment. Look how much it's gone up in the last couple of years. You know, I serve on a lot of boards, as you do. And what we find with investment committees is there's a three year rule. You know, typically when something underperforms for three years, what does the committee usually recommend, Ry? They get rid of it. And the reality of it is, it's probably at the time to actually buy it because if it's been down, it's probably better value than what's up, which is hard and to And what do they buy with what they sell? What's been going up, which. Is the worst thing you can do. Yeah, it's just, just so hard. It's so counterintuitive, you know, to buy low. It makes sense. We all talk about it. You know it. But uh, to actually execute that strategy takes discipline, takes strategy, and sometimes it takes the help of a, a financial coach. I think right now the, the, another place where that's a really big deal, and we talk about this a lot, is you may have money in bond funds, and it may be perceived mm. as a safe investment. But when we look at the fine print and you look at an actual bond fund, it can be just as risky as stocks, especially with interest rates starting to go up. Well, you know, it's a heads you lose, tails you lose investment, right? When rates go down, people pour money into those investments and the bond manager is forced to buy bonds at lower coupon rates or low interest rates. So you actually have a declining interest rate investment. It's just something you surely didn't sign up for. And then the inverse, when rates go up as they're going up right now, you know, people don't add money into bonds when rates are going up. They sell their bonds in a panic. So you have people that are invested side by side with you in your open-ended mutual fund that are panicking when you know, you're being perfectly rational and sitting still and you're losing money because other people you don't know are selling out of your investment. It's Heads like, you lose, tails you lose. Don't own bond funds. That's right. It's like the elevator is going down and you're with people you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> You know, another thing about those bond funds too, Bob, is just the credit quality is, you know, the underlying bonds in these portfolios typically own junk bonds. And it, let's face it, if you're buying bonds, it should be for safety. So do you really want something in your portfolio called a junk bond when you're looking to build a safe investment portfolio? So I think right now, whenever you have to analyze your portfolio, you have to look at what you own. And even if those bond funds have done really well for the last couple of years, that's probably not going to last, and it's a good time to make those adjustments. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I need to be financially healthy. I, I need to know what I own in my portfolio, and I need to know, is it appropriate? I need to know the fees I'm paying. You know, I don't want to be overcharged. I need to know if I'm in a position to achieve my financial goals. So here's your opportunity. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you saved at least $200,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you a full holistic review where we'll look at everything. It's the only review you'll ever need in your financial life. Gather all your statements, put it in a folder, put it in a shopping bag. We're going to review everything with you and build your own personalized 360 financial portal. This will allow you to become financially organized and view your complete financial life in real terms at your convenience. We're going to break down your portfolio into the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, cost, and income. We want to be certain that you are diversified across asset classes and within asset classes. In the event that we go into a big declining market, we want to bulletproof that portfolio. We want to make certain that you're not being overcharged. I don't know about you. I hate being overcharged, and I certainly don't want to be overcharged by my own portfolio. And lastly, we're going to look at income. 
You know, you need a reliable, dependable source of income in your retirement years. We want to be certain that when you're retired, you're able to stay retired. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan, utilizing strategies that our family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right, folks, for four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Take the pain challenge. Get a second opinion to make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is your shot to get a second opinion if you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. We have 10 slots. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, what did you find out through this week in the horrid world of financial propaganda? Well, first of all, Rod, you remember the firm that we used to work for that uh, invested all their money into subprime mortgages uh, right before they collapsed? I mean, I vaguely remember, I think it was called Merrill Lynch. <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, I remember Merrill working Lynch. there for almost a decade. Well, Merrill Lynch, which um, couldn't shoot fish in a barrel 10 years ago, proclaimed <laughs> yesterday that the great bull market is dead. Well, they've been wrong before, Bob. What is the rationale for this great, quote unquote, bull market being dead? Well, first is it's due to slowing economic growth. Of course, yesterday, the uh, GDP for the second quarter was confirmed at 4.2%, the best number we've had in 10 years. So I think they might be a little premature. Well, it's funny. I found an article along the same vein of, is this bull market losing its legs? And that's what a lot of the commentary is right now is, look, this market's gone on for a very long time. It has to be the end. But the reality of it, Bob, is this is the most hated bull market for one reason, and that's because it's been one of the most under-participated bull markets of all time. What we don't realize is most people have not been invested in this market for the last 10 years, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it's, um, it reminds me when I see, and, and they're not the only firm, right? You know, that's uh, we're picking on our, our former employer, but you know, there are other firms that have made similar proclamations over the last couple of months. And it reminds me of the uh, market when I first got involved, you know, back in the early 70s or uh, the mid 70s. You know, we had a market that was at a trading range and everybody kept telling us it was an ongoing bear market in the 80s. And guess what? It was the greatest bull market of our lives. So these pundits, they often get it wrong. Matter of fact, they get it more wrong than they get it right. <laughs> they never, yeah, they barely ever get it right. And, you know, it also also brings up another point because I, you know, I talk about this a lot too, is just this between a rock and a hard place. You know, there's a lot yeah. of different things going on. 2008 happened. You know, maybe you're in a position now where you got scarred by how far sure. the market went down back then. You put a lot of money in cash and you put some money back in the market and you thought, well, you know, I'm going to be careful because the market could go down again. And now it's 10 years later and the market really hasn't gone down very much. And now you feel like if I put that money in the market now, you know that day I put it in is the day the market's going to crash because it's just my luck. So it's like, what do you do? You sit in cash. Let's face it, Bob, cash is still trash. You're still earning nothing on your cash right now. Well, that's what it all comes down to. You have to ignore financial propaganda, right? It's like, uh, you know, you remember Mark Twain many years ago came out one day and said, the reports of my death are greatly exaggerated. Well, that's what pundits <laughs> are doing. You know, they're calling the bull market dead. We've been in a bull market your whole life. And it's not about having all your money in, in, in a market, right? There's other markets. And that's the thing that these folks never talk about. You know, it's not just the U.S. market, the international market. There's commodities, there's bonds. You can diversify your portfolio. And that's the way to win, is to have a strategy where you're going to make money over time. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Slow and steady wins the race. 
Yeah, and I think I think that's that's a really good point. And I think that we don't realize is what does diversification really mean, right? We hear it all the time. And if you find in your portfolio, it's like, okay, well, I have money in account over here at Charles Schwab. I have an account in my 401k over here. I have a brokerage account with Merrill Lynch. I have money with my local bank at Wells Fargo. I must be diversified. I've got different advisors putting different investments in those portfolios. But you don't really know if you're diversified or not unless you put all that stuff together. And that's why I love our 360 portal, Bob, because we actually load everything into one place so you can take a look and see how all the parts fit together. And a lot of times what you're going to find is, to your point is, you're going to have a lot of money concentrated in one area. And what area we find is you probably have a lot of money in U.S. stocks, which is great right now, but we know long term that's not real diversification and you can be putting yourself at unnecessary risk. You know, the beauty of the 360 Financial Portal, Rye, is it gives you a snapshot every day of how you're tracking towards your goals. And it tells you every day, if you're retired, you can stay retired. You know what? I don't want to be thinking about the stock market or the bond market or the commodity market when I'm trying to make that putt for the win with my buddies on the golf course in retirement. <laughs> or when I'm in that, my wife's in that Zumba lesson. I want you putting money in my account, and I want you to be able to show me every day that I'm on track, and that's the beauty of that process. Well, yeah, and that's the other thing, talking about these pundits saying, well, the market's going up or down. Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter. The real magic, if we use that term for investing, of those dividends is the cash flow. What we forget is when you own stocks, when you own bonds, they pay dividends and interest. Those dividends and interest can be lived on, no matter if the market's going up or down, or it can be reinvested back over your portfolio, but tweaking your portfolio to make it more pension-like in retirement, because the portfolio you had when you were working or for most of your career doesn't really work when you're getting close to retirement and in retirement. It doesn't serve the same purpose. So you need, really need a portfolio that's income-driven that really has nothing to do with the fluctuations of the market, Bob. And that's, I think, something that gets missed a lot when you're building your financial plan. And how about the, the fact that there, a lot of these pundits are fearful of the markets going forward because rates are rising? Well, you have a bond coming due. What do you want to do? Reinvest it at a lower interest rate or a higher interest rate? And that's why it's so important to have bonds that have a fixed coupon and a fixed maturity date so that you have an increasing yield portfolio. Hey, Rye, this is the best. You know, at the end of this article, Bank of America is recommending that investors focus on three things. I need your help with this. Here are the uh, three things. And okay, I'm focus ready. on inequality, innovation, and immortality. <laughs> Is this a science fiction uh, investment portfolio or what's going on here? I have no idea, but yeah. I think that, um, you know, basically what really I think you need to think about is inflation's coming back, interest rates are going up. There are thousands of companies that are traded outside the United States that haven't been in a bull market this year. There's opportunities in your portfolio every day. And in a well-diversified portfolio, there's a place to redeploy your, your money, to have it served well. And all you need to do is have a strategy that achieves your goals, overcome inflation, overcomes taxation, and allows you to make that putt on the 18th green and beat your buddies for the two bucks or at least a, a beer and lunch. We know what your dream is, Bob. <laughs> it's very clear. <laughs> That's a great point. So if you're thinking to yourself too, like, I need to make sure that my portfolio is set up because I'm getting close to retirement. I'm in retirement right now. Here's your shot to make sure you're on track or not on track. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 safe for retirement. Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that looks at the big picture. And all you really need to do is bring in your statements, you print them off the computer, or if they come in at the end of the month, put them in a folder. If you bring them in the office, we're going to build your own personalized portal so we can review everything from that bird's eye view and we can look at all the critical components to your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. You need a reliable stream of income that's increasing. What's your income gap? How are we going to fill it in? Bob and I will show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at those pesky fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products, what hidden costs you have in your portfolio. We're going to break it down for you and show you how to reduce cost on your investment portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. Do you have accounts everywhere? Do you have lots of different investment advisors? Are you really diversified? Do you own bond funds? If the market starts going down tomorrow, are you protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to diversify and protect your portfolio. 
Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most important question. Are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. Take the paying challenge. Put your plan to the test. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will run for you your own total personal financial master plan. No obligation and no cost. And there's no plan unless you call or text 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with my son, Rye. We're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Ready for what Bob and Ryan have to say next? All right, everyone. Gird your loins. Let's find out. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I make sure that we give you common sense advice always. And that's why we put together our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income. You cannot outlive just a baseline to get you started with the financial planning process. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish. Text it to 555-888. You can download our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income. You cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text that word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. If you want to learn more about myself and Bob, and yes, Bob's hair is real, you got to check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com and you can also subscribe to the show, get it right online and learn a little more about our firm. You can catch me most weeks on Fox Business News, CNBC with latest market commentary, just to give you the pulse of what's happening in the markets. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us directly, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, we answer it right here on the show. And to help us with questions today, we have our infamous, in some parts of the world, (laughs) producer, Mark Haywood, What's shaking, Haywood? Infamous. I feel like I should be running from the law now. <laughs> I, have to, I have to put a disclaimer out there that I have not done anything wrong. I just wanted to give you a little notoriety, you know? Yes. Add a little color to the show mm-hmm. this morning. A little personality. I like that. Well, you, <laughs> you guys should actually feel honored that I'm here because it's Ryder Cup weekend, and I could be at home in my chair getting ready to watch right now. So instead, I chose or to you be with be you. In Paris. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, I could be in Paris. That's true. Even better, Bob. I like that's your the thinking. kind of cultural man you are. But hey, well, you could be a lot of places. A lot of well, places we're honored. At once. Well, we're yes, blessed. yes. And before we get to golf, we do have to get to some business this morning. As always, we have some great questions that have come in. Let's start off with one from Jackie in Forest Hills, Queens. Jackie says, "Bob, I never hear anything from our financial advisor unless I call him myself, and this bothers me. Should I be bothered, or is this really okay?" You know, Rye and Mark, I'll tell you what, this is the thing that blows my mind. Financial advisors work in an industry called financial services. And what Jackie's complaining about here is a lack of service. And that's the number one reason why advisors lose their clients. Now, the reason that happens is because the average advisor has way more clients than they can possibly service. You know, Rye, back in my days as a consultant to the industry, I worked with a lot of firms where some advisors had five thousand clients. Think That's about that. That's insane. Five thousand yeah. clients. If you called one client a day, it would take you several years just to get to all your clients. So what, what do we hear? I mean, every week we have new people coming in to, to pain capital management. And the number one thing they tell us is the only time I hear from that person is when they want to sell me something. So that's not a financial advisor. That's a product salesperson. You don't want that. You need a RIA, you need a a fiduciary, someone who's going to put your interest best. And also you need a firm where they only handle a hundred households. No one can handle more than a hundred households and service them properly, right? Yeah. Somewhere on that, that hundred mark we found is a magic number. I mean, that was one of the things we decided when we started our firm that was going to be different from the big firms because you and I come from a big firm is that we would, every time we brought over a hundred plus new clients in, we'd hire a new financial advisor 
so no financial advisor was ever inundated with too many relationships because let's face it, money is a very emotional thing. And you know, having a personal relationship with someone you're comfortable with because you're going to talk about a lot of things that are very personal. You may not even talk about with your spouse. You need somebody who's there, who's talking to you. Most importantly, always updating your financial plan. You know, that financial plan is the crux of everything. And I'd say that's a big red flag, Bob. You know, if you're going to look for a financial advisor or a planner, if they're not talking about your goals first and they're talking about what products they're going to use in your portfolio, that's a very bad sign. Well, it is, Rod, because you know trust is important and trust is earned. Trust doesn't come at the beginning of a relationship. It comes during a relationship. And a relationship doesn't come at the beginning of a relationship. You know, a relationship happens by constant you know, conversations, meetings, and a systematic process of staying in touch with your client and with your financial advisor. You know, Jackie, there's no reason to suffer. Pick up the phone. Go see someone else. You don't have a financial advisor. You have a salesperson. Yeah, and odds are you're paying for it because you don't know all the hidden fees in your portfolio. And a lot of times there's someone collecting a handsome fee and you're not getting any service for that fee. To me, that's a bad deal, Bob. That's exactly like the case we're going to review today with Courtney. There's a client who didn't have an advisor giving them advice, just selling them products, and they're paying two to three times what they should. That's called heads you lose, tails you lose, Bob. We have a lot of that today. Well, thank you for writing in, Jackie. I certainly hope that that answers your question. And we certainly hope that you work with an advisor where the relationship is just as important as the actual numbers. Let's move over now to Miriam in Livingston, New Jersey. This one's for Ryan. And I think you guys are actually going to really like this because it represents a dynamic that I think we see a lot in this industry with a lot of different couples. So, Ryan, if you can... Put on your marriage counselor hat here, which... <laughs> I'm not the person for that, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> I'm not My sure My girlfriend why they... <laughs> would definitely not be impressed that I'm giving marriage advice, but go ahead. Perhaps this one should really be directed at Bob, but nonetheless, <laughs> she says... Uh, let's Ryan... be clear, Ry. You have a girlfriend. You're not married. You're not married with a girlfriend. <laughs> yes. We have... Yeah. Yeah. Good Good call, Bob. <laughs> let's let's okay. make sure we... Uh... Yes, we we (laughs) digress here. (laughs) Let's make sure that everyone knows, with disclaimer, we have uh, financial licenses, not marriage counselor licenses. But nonetheless, this question's for Ryan, and she says, Ryan, my husband was born in the 50s, but for some reason his attitude towards money is like that of some sort of Great Depression era survivor. I really think we've saved enough for retirement, but he's convinced that we both need to keep working forever, while also never indulging ourselves with any spending over and above the basics. Is there a way to fix this? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a way to fix this. It's called having a financial plan done. You know, we joke about it, but a lot of what we do is what I call financial therapy. <laughs> it's so nice to sit down, and that's why I like our the review session that we do do is we do model out retirement for you. You know, we would look at, Miriam, essentially how much you need to spend or how much you want to spend, and I always say go aspirational. Let's have some fun. Let's look at how much could you really spend in retirement and enjoy yourself where you're not going to put yourself at risk. You know, Bob, I just think that putting those numbers down on paper, in our case, we have a, our program, a software program where we can do it in real time right on the screen is such a great way to uh, give yourself what I would call financial peace of mind. You know, Rice, that transition as well, right? When you're getting ready to retire, you're in that financial red zone and you're used to having that paycheck come in every two weeks, you're going to now have that income gap. And it's just hard for people to realize that with Social Security, their pension, if they have a pension, or the income that their portfolio generates can actually replace that. And it's seeing that in writing that gives you that peace of mind to make that great leap, right? That's a big leap of faith to walk away from what you've been used to for 40, 50, 60 years. But yeah, you know, the thing I'm concerned about is this, this guy was born in the 50s. He's a baby boomer. I don't know any baby boomers with depression or ideas. <laughs> well, hey, you know, everybody uh, has a different perception of the way things are. And I think that's a really cool thing too, Bob, is like when we can build the portfolio out that shows you, hey, look, you can collect income from your portfolio, you can collect your social mm-hmm. security, and if you have a pension and never touch your principal, it's like the optimal way to do things. So you got your principal still growing. And in the meantime, you can just take the income from the portfolio to live on is kind of an optimal place to be. And a lot of times you can spend more than you ever thought. You know, Ryan, it's, it's as simple as getting from point A to point B. And that's why we call our process the A to B process. Now, Ryan, let me ask you a question. On a scale ask. of one to 10, Jackie and Miriam, how financially organized do you perceive them to be? 
I have to say, sadly, Bob, they're like a two or three. Let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized would you like to be? Well, of course you want to be a 10. And if you want to be a 10, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers, especially if you've saved over 200000 for retirement. What we're going to do is create for you your own 360 financial portal, where not only will you be able to update your net worth and your portfolio values in real time when you feel like looking at it, but all of your goals will be displayed with a report card on how you're progressing towards your goals and once you've achieved those goals. Not only that, we're going to ask you to take all of your statements, put them in a folder, stick them in a shopping bag. You don't have to even open up the envelopes. Pick up the phone, give us a call because we're going to break down your portfolio to the three key elements of a successful strategy. Diversification, cost, and income. We want to be certain that you don't have that risky overlap in your portfolio, which will cause you to be hit hard in any type of impending downside in the market. We don't want any overlap in that portfolio. We want to make sure that you're not being overcharged. I mean, who wants to be overcharged? You especially don't want to be overcharged on your own portfolio. We're going to look at your income. You know, that income gap is so critical while you're planning for retirement, especially when you're in retired. You know, every client I've ever worked with, their number one goal in retirement was to stay retired. Let's make sure that's going to happen for you. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies that my family's been working on for over four decades. That's right, folks. For 40 years, we've been helping clients and families like you get from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We still have a few slots left if you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. 844 844- 752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Take the pain challenge. Make sure you're on track for retirement. 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right, and that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to make sure that you get the best, most common sense advice that you can apply to your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive, just a great baseline to get you started with the financial planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's the word bullish, B U L L. ISH to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income. You cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's bullish to 555-888. And now we've got a special guest on the show. My colleague, Bob's colleague, our certified financial planner, Courtney C. Money Dominguez. She's with us this morning. How are you doing, Court? I'm great. How are you guys? No complaints. Always great to have you on the show. Always great to be here. Thanks as always for having me. (laughs) It's an honor. It's a pleasure. (laughs) And this is our spotlight segment where basically we just take a real financial plan we worked on. We looked at some of the things that need to be corrected, some common sense things that you were able to do to get, in this case, a couple on track for their retirement. Why don't you give us the rundown on the case and talk about how you were able to get this couple on their path to financial freedom? Of course. 
Now, this couple is in their early 50s, and they came to me and they said, Courtney, we are eight years away from retirement. I know exactly where I want to move in retirement. I know exactly how much money I feel like I should have before retirement. I want to know, can we feasibly get there? And number two, I hear we might have a lot of hidden fees. Can you tell if it's that's true or not? Okay, so they suspected in their portfolio they were paying more than they could actually see coming out of their portfolio. That's correct. They had an inkling that they had those kind of fees that were hidden, and I will get to this, but they were very much correct. <laughs> so wait a minute, let me get this straight. Based on their assumptions, the retirement age is now 58, so I should have retired seven years ago. You know what, Bob? I'm sure they're not having as much fun in their job as you are in yours. We wouldn't want to strip the pleasure of working here every day from you. It would just okay, be cruel. Okay, I forgot about the fun. Okay, so let's see, Courtney, are they, are they prepared about the fun, Bob. to retire early? <laughs> yeah, which is um, an interesting place to start, actually, because they came to us and said, I feel like I need a certain amount of money in order to retire. And I hear this a lot on both sides of the spectrum. I hear people who come to me and say, I have a million dollars saved up. I should be able to retire, no problem. Or on the flip side, people say, well, I have a million dollars. I don't think it's enough. And a lot of this just comes from people talking to their friends or family or common perceptions. But I really can't hone in enough. It's not about how much money you have. It's about how you're spending that money. So there really is no one size fits all of what that number is you need to hit when it comes to retirement. It's a very personal number and it depends on your goals and your situation. You know, so true, Courtney. And that's why we call it A to B, right? It's not just, mm -hmm. you know, how much money you have at A or what the return is. It's what you're doing at point B. What are your goals? How much is it going to cost to expense those goals? And, you know, if you start retiring and you start withdrawing too much too early, no matter how well you perform in your portfolio, it can be a disaster. Yeah. Exactly. That's a good point. I got to assume here because the other thing is the other step to this is right. Okay, we we figure out where you're trying to go, and then it's like, is your portfolio built to achieve those goals? And I'm going to guess, Courtney, looking at this portfolio, that the portfolio they have right now is not the right portfolio. Exactly. And mm -hmm. one of the biggest concerns that I saw with this portfolio was their biggest concern, which was the fees that they were paying. Mm. Now, this came on multiple different fronts here. They have accounts with um, another custodian and they specifically told me, we have somebody who's chosen these investments for us and we did not want to upgrade to their service of having a financial planner because we didn't want to pay the fees for it. However, we think we're at the point in our life where we need somebody to start planning so we're willing to maybe pay some extra costs for that. Boy, that's now, a new twist. Let's get lots of <laughs> fees without any advice. Yes, yeah, <laughs> ironically, they are paying way more fees right now than they would be with an advisor because of all those hidden costs in there that they hadn't seen. Now, on the low side, the cheapest I could find for them were hidden fees of over 1%, whereas they had other accounts that had hidden fees of almost three and a quarter percent, actually, which is extremely high, and it's gonna be really hard for them to hit their returns in the long run if they're paying those kind of fees within, within the accounts. So basically, it's like hiding a Mack truck behind a you know a thin poplar tree. These fees are obvious if you know where to look. Exactly, exactly. So rather than having something that are just a collection of funds that they really don't know if it's going to meet their goals, we could put together a really good plan for them, get into significantly lower cost investments. And even with having a full team of advisors working with you, we were able to cut their fees more than in half, which is extremely significant. Yeah, that's also, a lot of money. Yeah, and, and reduce the risk even more importantly because you know when you have that fear of not knowing, you tend to take more risks than necessary and almost 90% of the portfolios we review are taking way more risk than they need to take to achieve their goals as I find in this case that, uh, that you're working on right here. Yes. Yeah, that was a big point we talked about is right now they're invested like somebody who's in the early part of their career, who's taking a lot of risk with a long time horizon, not somebody who's nearing retirement and is starting to dial that back. Hmm. So it really came down to their planning and seeing if we want to retire and meet that retirement in eight years, we also don't want to screw this up for you and we don't want to be too aggressive, which we are right now. Yeah, and that blows my mind. I mean, they're almost 80% in the markets at risk. I mean, at this stage of the game, like if we have another 2008, I mean, they could see their net worth go down by 
I don't know, close to half. I mean, it's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And not only is it mostly in the stock markets, it is spread just a couple different investments within the stock market. So it is not spread out very well at all in any front. And I love that about our 360 portal and that investment spreadsheet, because you don't really know how diversified you really are, because chances are, like this couple, you have accounts at a lot of different places. And then when you map it all together, even though the funds have different names and it feels like, man, I've got my money spread out. When you break down these investments, like in this case, all the money's concentrated in the same area, mm-hmm. which I think is usually the case. We don't know how we're diversified at all. And usually we're not diversified correctly, even if we have lots of accounts and exactly. lots of investments. Yeah. And we know that often, as we saw in 1999 with technology, Rye, it ends in tears. It does end in tears. <laughs> well, luckily they met Courtney C. Money Dominguez, so it looks like they were... Uh, they will not end in tears or their retirement won't end in tears. Exactly, exactly. I like when people come to me and they say, oh, I'm still several years from retirement because we have a lot that we can add value for them and there's so much time that we can still make that planning work and make sure they can meet their goals. Yeah, well, great job. Excellent job on this, Courtney. Again, it just comes down to a lot of these basic things that you need to be doing for retirement. It's just nice to address them and get people on track for retirement. And if you're thinking to yourself, this is the kind of review I need. I need to make sure I'm on track for retirement. I got to make sure I'm properly diversified. Uh, If you're one of the next few callers, we still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Courtney, C. Money Dominguez, one of our certified financial planners here at Payne Capital Management, will run for you our total financial master plan just like this with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that analyzes everything, just the right second opinion to make sure you're on track. We're going to look at all the same things. We're going to load everything into a portal for you so we can get a bird's eye view of your investment portfolio and look at all those critical elements. We're going to look at diversification. Are you taking way too much risk in your portfolio? Are you really diversified? If the market goes down tomorrow big, are you protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so much more reliable in retirement than markets going up or down. We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio to fill in that income gap. And we're going to look at fees. This couple was paying way too much in fees. They didn't know what they were paying in fees because most of the fees were hidden. What hidden costs do you have in your portfolio? Can we help you reduce the cost on your portfolio? We were able to reduce the fees in half on this portfolio. Then what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together and one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question you need to answer. Are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for literally 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Here's your chance. Take the Paying Capital Management Challenge. Put your plan to the test by simply give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement our team will create for you your own total financial master plan, no obligation, no cost. Of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Another great show, Court. Great to have you. Thanks for having me as always. I feel like this has got to be a great weekend for biking. Are you going to get the bike out? I am hoping so. Any sunny day, that's where I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know you bought like the most state-of-the-art futuristic bike, so I'm expecting you're going to get a lot of miles in this uh, this fall. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bob, what's on tap for the rest of the weekend? You know, Ryan, I think I'm going to head out to the pumpkin patch, or I just might watch the Ryder Cup. I can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the Ryder Cup's in your future. I don't see you in the pumpkin patch uh, picking out pumpkins, Bob. Just, just, just yeah. saying. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think maybe Mom will go to the pumpkin patch. I'll watch the Ryder Cup. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.